Hey, it's Rhonda Palazar here, and I already showed you how to make the front cover and cut down the paper in a previous video, and now I want to take you through the interior of this album. Now, a couple things to note about this album is it's pretty simple on the inside, and that's so that you can document December without feeling crazy or rushed, um, so that you can enjoy the holiday season as well as create a beautiful album. So I want to take you through the interior and show you some tips and tricks of things you can do with the pages. Uh, first off, I put a little vellum sheet just over an introduction page. And I like the introduction page right here. I can journal if on it if I want after the season, my thoughts, maybe a strip down here. And I just put our family name in there with uh, one of the tags in the flare. And I really like the simple, elegant page. And what this also helps me do is keep my pages to where one and two are on the same uh, interior pages. So I like that little introduction there. So here's my um, interior pages. And like I said, I stuck to a plan and kept it pretty simple. So there's just going to be like objects layered on either the left or the right to keep it pretty simple. And what my plan is, and I'll show you with a photo that was taken last year, is to do a 5 by 7 photo, just the same size as the album, in the interior. And with that, um, I plan to number them in the various ways using both the uh, stamps that came in the kit and with the number, the wonderful little wooden numbers on the, from the embellishment kit. And so when you look at that, I'm going to hold that up close, and you see that, I just use a simple punch with some uh, other pattern paper to back inside the interior. And I'm going to just keep it that simple. I went ahead and punched all, with all the leftover paper, both a pennant and these circular punches. And I can use either side. There's tons of different ones in here. So... I have a variety and I'm good to go for the rest of the month as I take photos and add them in here. Now on the other side, you can see I used um, just leftover pen, uh, paper and made a pennant and just stamped directly on that. And I love that. I love that idea that it's a little bit different but still consistent together. And I probably will repeat it with the odd numbers with the wooden and the even numbers with the pennant. And then I'll have leftover numbers for something else. So I love that idea of just a little bit of difference, but keep it pretty simple so that I can achieve the book throughout the holiday. So now if you, with that in mind, I have to take vertical photos, but if I don't, there's a simple solution to that. Um, you can take two photos that are horizontal orientation and you can either do it in a Photoshop or photo editing software or you can just do it as a printout and then mount it onto cardstock paper and do it that way. So these are two photos together and that will go in and sandwich and capture that day. Now with that, I also left myself opportunities to add to these pages. So let's say that this was my first one and two, keeping in mind these were from last year, but I'm using them as an example. I can also take a photo, say like this, and I can add it to various places. Maybe it's on this side from this date or like this. Oh, that looks great, just like that. So I can add multiple photos to my pages. I love those options. Plus, I'll often do things like this where I can journal more of my story on that. What are my thoughts from that day? Is there a recipe I want to go in here? So that's the way I like to look at things. So let's continue on throughout this album. So you can see I've done some pocket pages to give me some extra room for um, journaling or photos. And I've let these kind of loose like this. This is the washi tape. You can see, left them kind of loose so that I can add in photos if I want to that. And just look at how beautiful that looks, just kind of tucked in there. 
It could also be where it's like this and goes over things. But options, options, options. So um, I use that stencil in the same way. Let's just hold this up here as I did on the front cover. So I'm repeating elements throughout this whole book and just shifting it those tiny little bits to give it that a little bit of uh, variety, but still keep it consistent. And you, again, you can see same things layered on the same page, but it looks so different. And again, left spaces so that if I do want to add in photos, I can very easily and then still put in my 5x7 with the dates on it. Um, this is a great, this was the glassine bags that were included in the kit. And I went ahead and used some ferro paste in that stencil, my stencil through it. And you can put in extra photos in here or maybe handwritten notes or Dear Santa letters. Um, there's so many ways you can use this bag and I just kind of decorate it a little bit and then just wait it for whatever's going in there. And again, same concept, just this was stretched at the top so I have a lot of space for journaling or extra photos. Now see, like this one, I've tucked it in. I love that that little bit can be tucked in and still have room for journaling or journal all around it. And again, repeating elements. Here's that same gold star uh, from the stencil using ferro paste. Now all these pages will be listed for you individually. You'll have photographs of all these pages so you can see them up close, but I just want to take you through it so you can see. Same element, little strips. And here's something fun and playful. This is on the strips here and I just added one or two to a page in various ways just to give it a little of that variety that I was talking about. Um, these little hangover strips are fun too as little dividers. You just take the strip, wrap it around, and then adhere it to the other page and use that as your decoration too. And you can see here's some the uh, number stamps and what I did was repeat that too throughout the book. So I'm repeating all these elements to make it cohesive but giving it a little variety. And I, I just lined up my number stamps the way I wanted to and just left it on there and inked and stamped various pages you're going to see throughout the album. I love, love, love pocket pages because it gives me opportunity to add more and still makes it look very uh, detail oriented and it's simple. You can see, love the way this um, transparency came out. I just stitched it onto these tabs and it looks so good and then just added a little bit of sticker elements to it. Another pocket page again, keeping it pretty consistent. Little ring down here. More pocket pages with tags. The tags are throughout. These are from um, Lawn Fawn, which is a great company. And again, the gold stars. See another date stamp here, stamped onto the bottom, keeping it consistent. The other glassine bag, and this time I only did the bottom half with the stars, give it a little variety. Again, pocket page, another place, so I could put in a photo, and I could put in journaling in here. I could put more photos in, because I don't want to limit myself to just one big photo, because, you know, this is the season, we tend to take lots and lots of photos. Here's another great pocket page, and I'm using the leftover transparency as the tag to pull it out. Again, the star with the gold. This is ferro paste, and it looks just so good with that stencil. Keeping things consistent. P for Palazzari. I can imagine a photo up here, or maybe even a journaling strip here. Until we get to, and I have 31 pages in here, so I'm ready for 31 days of December. And then the back pocket I told you about would be great for um, 
Christmas cards or other things. And so I just covered the front half with pattern paper and did the same kind of strips as you see throughout the album. Now I have a ton of leftovers so that when I actually go to put stuff in the album, um, I can use to add to it, to give it those little embellishments. So you can see I have leftover Polaroids. I have some sheets of paper left over. Of course I have the stamps. And I have this wonderful sticker sheet left over um, to add to my photos. I can even take the stencil and the same pattern that I've been repeating with the gold ferro paste through here, I can add little details to the bottom of a picture or so. So say maybe it goes along this edge, or maybe I have a photo that's heavy up here, and I just add a strip down here. Lots and lots of ways you can add back into the album too. So I wanna set you up for success, set you to where you can complete the album uh, pretty easily and you don't feel like you're ever behind. So just remember, keep it simple, keep the layers the same, change it up just a little bit for a little spice of variety, and you're good to go for the month. Thank you for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed this base of this album. Make sure you pick up your Coco Daisy kit so you can create it. And uh, you can find the other videos here on my YouTube channel and more inspiration at rondapalazari.com.